So I may be top of the league, but it's not been as easy as you thought it would be. Welcome back to my journeyman saving football manager 2019. I'm Luke. This is Straz Gaming. And yeah, we're, we're still top of the league. We've won 11 games. We've drawn one. We've lost one. Again, I'm going to apologise now. If you hear any strange noises in the background, any squeaking, jumping around, meowing, Steve the cat just wants to get into the video. It's all he's trying to do. Playing with his little squeaky toy. But I can't lock him out of the room. It's a little kitten. Can't lock kittens out of a room. Anyway, enough said. Football manager, that's what we're on about. Distracted already. 43 seconds into the video. Apologies. Hope you're all doing well. Um, anyway, yeah, we're top of the league. Uh, we've played a lot of football since you've last seen us. And a lot of football it was. I think, when did we... Was it the Monaco game? Was it the Real Madrid and Bordeaux game? I think that was... that. Yeah, they were the ones because you saw us lose against Real Madrid. Bordeaux, we beat 3 0. We then have won a boatload of games 6 0. Galatasaray in the Champions League, 5 0. Avocados getting five goals there. 2 1 win in the league. Again, 2 0. We played Chelsea, 2 1 in the, uh, the Champions League, eventually coming from behind there. Nantes, we got a draw with 0 0. Really annoying. We dropped points there, but it's fine. Reigns, is it? We've just beat them 3-1. And then L-O-S-C. We beat them 3-0 with Mbappe getting on the score sheet. And um, yeah, some of these teams, I'm going to butcher the names of. I'm going to tell you now, they're going to be butchered. Apologies. I'm just not up to, up to the, uh, what was it, the task and up to the knowledge of any other league outside of England. So uh, apologies for that. I will learn it eventually. So yeah, a couple of... Bits of news. We've had... A, well, look at that wage budget at the minute. We're massively underspending. Need to sort that out. But we've got some transfer news. Not good news, to be honest with you. It's more of a kind of released player kind of retirement, which you probably saw was going to happen. Dybala actually retired at the age of 35. Just retired halfway through it. I was actually playing him as well in games. He was five games off reaching 300 appearances for PSG. If only he just stayed, I would have given him that time but he's what was it 34 trophies is that his career milestones his history's there but he's, he's just gone he's 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 gone out of the game he doesn't even want to do any sort of management he's just he's just gone which is sad to see but anyway enough said so what we're doing today we're doing Chelsea and then we've got to lose I believe it is in the league that should be a nice easy win there to lose I say easy nothing's easy Chelsea, though, it's going to be a fun one. And this is how we're going to be lining up. The diamond has been being used quite a bit. But I'm just kind of learning the team. And what I have noticed is that we don't have a very big squad. And that is a problem. We need some backup midfielders. Like we had at Arsenal and we had Oli and we had uh, is it, uh, So Can Be. We had them two that... That could switch out for the midfield too. We had the left backs and the right backs. We had the team built. Here we don't. Midfield, we, we really do struggle. We've got a lot of attacking players. Not as much as cover for defence or midfield. So, where I need to kind of strengthen is going to be them roles. I've just realised I've just hit some mid-team. I've not gone through it. We'll learn the team as we play. In fact, here it is. Uh, Pip's going to be in goal. Lucas, Lepita, Diablo, Lano. I'm getting these names wrong. I don't care. Uh, Brimmer and Demetrius as the midfield on... To be honest, the attacking midfield are still players that are currently playing football in real life. Uh, Dembele, Felix and Mbappe. It's, just, it's weird to see normal players still. I know we're getting to that point where it's all going to be regens. Then we've got Vazquez up top who's just class and scoring goals for... For fun, really. How many goals has he scored? 12. I think Mbappe's actually scored more than him. Mbappe has scored 16 league goals already this season in 13 games. That's more than a goal a game for a 31-year-old Mbappe, who's absolutely class. He's got another year or so left in him, I'm guessing, before he he wants to start retiring. We need to find a, uh, what was it, a replacement for him. But I'm hoping... We win the league and win all the trophies and maybe win the Champions League with PSG this season. And then when we do, we can just leave like we did with Arsenal and try and get a another big job somewhere. And the way I'm hoping this is, is if I leave a big club, 
a manager from another bigger club is going to leave and come to, say, PSG. For example, if I leave PSG, Zidane then leaves Real Madrid and goes to PSG, I can then go to Real Madrid. But the only way that's going to backfire is if, say, someone from England takes the job and then we've already completed England, so I'll be scuppered for a little bit. So I don't know how I'm going to work this at the end of this season, but we'll uh, we'll see how we do. If we don't win the Champions League or there aren't any jobs that look like they're going to be going, I will um, probably stay on for another year and try and win everything again. If we don't win everything, if we do, I feel like we probably should resign and go to another club to just try and win stuff. At the minute now, it's just like a ooh, Chelsea go close. It's just like... Next position of gold or something like that. We're just trying to win everything at the minute now. We've, we've won the Champions League. The journeyman is now actually becoming a proper journeyman. I'm winning stuff and then I'm going to leave. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So that just might be the plan. As soon as I win a cup or something, just move on. But I'm trying to become the best manager in the world. That was a very poor first half. But we can still, we can still do better. I don't know where that drops us down in the group. Has that put us second? Or oh, This is a really tough group. Real Madrid, PSG, Chelsea and Galatasaray. Poor Galatasaray. But we've got to try and get a result here today. Beat Chelsea. Try and beat Real Madrid, which you guys aren't going to see, unfortunately, because you're going to see the Galatasaray game, because I've not shown you that. Uh, Leno looking for the cross. Mbappe's there. Gets the cross in. Awesome. And Dem Dembele scores, which is nice. His second goal of the season. Again, I've not really been playing him too much. Out on the um, out on the old wing, just because of um, yeah, just because we've had Felix and then we've had a uh, Avocado in the centre that can has been scoring goals for fun. I don't even know where he is at the minute. He's not even at the bench, and Mbappe just scores his seventeenth goal of the season with a wonder free kick. I feel like we're going to beat Chelsea, which is lovely. This second half, we've just come out and been just the better team. Avocado, where are you? Are you out injured? He must be out injured. Must be. That's the only reason why I think he's not there. Vasquez not having the best couple of games recently. He's not got on the score sheet. We're going to play it out the bat. Pip's been good, fantastic for us in goal as well in the league, which you think he would have done. It's his big move now to a big club. Left Leicester. He's come to PSG. Vasquez is in. What was I just saying about him? It's his 15th goal of the season. Does like a weird-ass Superman slide roll for his celebration. Can we see that again, please? Because that was absolutely insane, his celebration. Are we going to get to see it again? Fantastic finish. It's in. Then do we see his celebration roll? Yeah, we do. Look. There we go. He just slides along. Slides along. Why not? Right. Who are we going to put on next? We're going to have to probably rest some players now. Brim is probably going to come off. Well, I say probably. He is going to come off. Bring on Chiore. That will do. Right. Lucas and... Oh, I'm going to take Lucas off. Bring on Melito on the right-hand side just because Lucas is looking tired. Them two, obviously, Melito picked up an injury, all that sort of stuff. So he's struggling a bit too much as well. I'm just trying to figure think of rotation-wise. Felix and Mbappe, maybe Mbappe, to bring on Mia. who's not that great, to be honest with you, but can play in that position. He's more of a striker than anything, actually. Maybe just train Mia as an inside forward or a winger. Probably going to do that instead. Just then we've got someone else that can be covered and play on that right-hand side. And another highlight, though. Coming Chelsea's way, by the looks of it. Unless we're going to counter. But we have made the team weaker from making the substitutions. So that means they're going to get back into the game. They do score. If it ends like this, though, it is 3-1. We have got the, uh, obviously, another two goals to go. We are going to... End today's episode top of the group. I'm going to skip their goal, though, because I thought it was going on. It's only been nine minutes. It's fine. It's fine. Nine minutes into the video, it's all right. I haven't spoke that much rubbish just yet. But the end of this game is coming thick and fast. And Chelsea almost try and do a wonder strike. Almost try and do a wonder strike. But look at that. Real Madrid, Galatasaray. I feel sorry for him. 4 nil up. But we are still top of this group, which is nice. Which I don't know if that's... Because of goal difference? Or no, it's not, actually. It's probably because, passionately say, a very nice victory. We'll have a, just a quick look at this group stage. Not schedule, I want competitions. 1-4. So, 
They've only won two games against us. So Chelsea must have drew a game against Real Madrid, which is nice for us. So we're topping that group. So we have got a league game to go next. So it'll be t uh, to lose. So we're going to get into that. So just with the magic of editing, I was going to click my fingers and then I'll appear, but that doesn't always work when I do that. So just give us a sec and we'll, we'll be into the game in five days' time. So here we are then. The lineup is pretty much going to be the same. Uh, Avocado's coming in in the attacking midfield roles. Dembele's going to be playing there. Wijnaldum is out on the left-hand side because Leno is suspended. Other than that, not a lot is really happening. There is a bit, just quickly before I go, there is some transfer news going on. Our goalkeeper, Alex Moret, obviously he's a good goalkeeper, 32 years of age, worth £46 million. Um, I'm not playing him because we've got Pip. There's offers coming for him. I, I offered him on the transfer. I rejected Monaco's £26 million bid. But Real Madrid have come in for a stupid £47 million bid. I don't understand why they're going to pay all of his wage, £47 million. If he accepts that, that is ridiculous because it's, it's more than what he's worth. And I don't understand what that is and why. And we'll take it because we need... As we need the money. I'm going to have to do that. So we're not... Oh, right, we've got no transfer budget, but we're fine on wages now. Probably did it a bit too much, but it's fine. It will do. Still got loads of money in the back. Rogers sacked by Liverpool as well. Liverpool must be doing terrible. How are they doing? Oh my God, they're 17th in the Premier League, eh? The Premier League just looks like this. Just a quick peek. Arsenal in sixth place. Not as good as out me. But anyway, let's get into this game. That's what we're doing. Team-wise, we've just seen the team. Let's just jump into the game and get onto it. So yeah, it's it's weird to see the um, Premier League do do what it's doing. Derby are up there again in the uh, European spots. So whether they're going to be a team that's going to slowly push through and get better, and I don't understand where that came from because looking at the team, it's not the best team. I don't see any money that have gone into them. They've just been a very good team. I think in in England last season, they're in Europe again and. I think, well, the Europa League they managed to get into. So it'd be nice to see if... This is coming from a Leicester fan, by the way. It won't be nice to see Derby up there. But it will be nice to see someone else break in the top four. And it's a shame it's not Leicester with the amount of money that they've been chucked to them as of late from the past couple of years with all the transfers they've made. Obviously, when I was at Arsenal, I spent a lot of money there. And we go 1-0 up with a lovely goal from our centre-back, which was a strike... Like he was an absolute striker. And it's like, what the hell is this goal? So the ball comes in, edge of the area, just chest it down. And then, lovely finish. And Bernat Lepeter. I will learn the names. If it's not right, please tell me down below in the comments. Bapper over another corner. Oh, we go close. This team is just ridiculous in the league. Oh, there we go. They're going to get man sent off for that. They shouldn't do. I think he's going to... Hopefully this will just be a telling off. It wasn't that bad of a tackle. Don't deserve a red card. Yeah, just calm down, mate. I agree with the ref with that. I do. Do we get a goal from the free kick? No, we do not. No, but we've got a problem. And Mbappe's picked up a knock. 28 minutes in. We'll take him off. We don't have to worry too much about Mbappe. We're going we're gonna to bring on this Mia again. Playing on that right-hand side. Ivan Mayer. We'll just see how he, how he gets on. And I keep forgetting that we're playing in the white and not the... Uh, the purple kit that they're they're playing in. Ball comes in though. Vasquez almost scores. Doesn't though. I also realise if the if the volume is all over the place, it's because I end up leaning back on my chair and I realise oh, me has just didn't got his first goal of the season. I lean back and I realise I'm miles away from the microphone. The microphone will obviously will pick it up, but yeah, I need to get a new microphone. That's the plan. That's on the wish list for for Christmas anyway, at least. Christmas, it's bloody ages away, but yeah, I need a new microphone, I've got one that I spent like 25 quid on, does the job, but I could do with a better one, another corner comes in, we're looking dangerous, that is looking alright on that right, right hand side, I was going to say the right wing, which is really difficult for me, because I just want to say white wing, I, I, it's not a white, and it's not all, uh, well it is a wing technically, but still right wing, it's really difficult for me to say, and now I'm just talking below me and we're just going to get into this game get into the second half just destroy and we're going to be comfortably top of the league i want you to say down in the comments when do you think i'll win the league and how many points do you reckon i'm going to get 
do you reckon it's going to get to the point where I'm just going to walk away with it and I'll be just well ahead of Monaco? Or do you reckon Monaco is going to be there for the rest of the season challenging me? I think Monaco are going to be challenging me all season just for the fact it's football manager and they won't let you just walk away with it. I'd like to try and win all the cups if I can. I am going to uh, do I take off Lucas. There's a massive international break going on next. So that's the other thing as well. We'll take off Lucas. We'll make them subs. I think we'll win the league. It will be comfortable, but how many points? Do you reckon it'd be more than 10 points? I don't know how. I don't know. I think I think Monaco are going to be there all season, annoyingly. I think, we're, I think we'll win it. I think we're too good of a team not to win the league. It's going to be nice and easy. It's, it's PSG. I've, cho I've chosen an easy one. But look at me. Still in my, my blue, white and red suit. Weird concoction. And we just won a penalty. It is a penalty. Still a, I feel a bit harsh sometimes with some of these teams. We absolutely battle them. Battle them. Felix, though, doesn't score from the penalty. Probably should have done, really. I've not really set up the penalty takers or any set pieces Anything like that. Probably should do some sort of tactics like that. Have a look to see if it changes the game. They go 2-1 up. If they manage to grab another goal back, like I say, things aren't 100% comfortable in this league. And obviously, we've lost one game and drawn one. It was like last season at Arsenal when we, we only lost a couple of games, annoyingly. And yeah, they were, more than annoyingly, we lost a lot of games at the end of the season. And that's probably why we ended up didn't win the... Champions League, what a Jekyll high performance. Yeah, we'll say that. It wasn't the best performance, it was still a win. Good though, look. There we go. Three points clear, but Monaco have a game in hand, so it's not always it's not all as good as it looks at the minute. Competition wise, obviously they're all happy with it. I don't know when the French Cup and that starts. Okay, French Cup Cup is the first of January. The other cup starts in December. That's why we get into that sort of period. Schedule-wise, when are we going to be back next? We're going to be back the Galatasaray game. And... Not bottom of the league. This team that I'll try and learn the name of before I do the next recording. So, yeah, that's going to be when we're going to be back anyway. And then... There's a big game against Monaco there, which we're not going to get in, are we? We've seen Monaco a couple of times already. And then it was get towards the end of the season. So, yeah, we're going to come back. We haven't seen Galatasaray in the, the group stages. It's the bottom one. We should, hopefully, depending if we get a result against Real Madrid, and you guys aren't going to see that. And I sh probably should show you it. Though I'm not going to. I want to try and get through this season as quick as we can. Obviously, try and get through the save as quick as we can with Football Manager 2020. On, on route, what are we now? September? What? A couple more months. October, November, maybe. End of October? The beta will come out, so don't have long left to try and win as much as I can. So I'm just going to keep going. And then I've got to try and edit them and get them out. And I'm a bit behind with all that sort of stuff as well. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'll get some sort of conclusion to it. And I'll just stop the videos. I'll try and end it decently. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll come to an end and we'll do a review of it all and blah, blah, blah. And all that sort of stuff. Enough talking, Luke. Let's just end the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. All that sort of stuff. There's a lot of love for Football Manager creators at the minute, which is what we love to see. So, yeah, if you're new around here, just pop a subscribe on. It does help me out a little bit with the channel. with growing as much as it is at the minute. 111 subscribers. Thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Enough talking now, Luke. Go to bed. It's late. See you guys later on. Catch you in the next video.